got a little interrupted and a little changed and so I was hoping to have some time to go into like Mango and uh, River Island and Monkey and do some hauls for you guys and I didn't get the chance to. However, if you are a UK audience and you want me to review some of those brands, I'm happy to do so. I did like pop into a Zara just to see what was different there, but I didn't have a ton of time for shopping. Let me just rewind and say, if you are new to my channel, you're probably like, what is this girl talking about? <laughs> I hope that you stick around and like this video. And if you do, I'd love for you to comment below and let me know how you found me, how you're finding everything. Also, feel free to hit me up over on Instagram. Uh, it's a lot more personal over there in the DMs, but I love the comments here as well. And I love getting to chat with you guys here. And if you're returning BFF, I'm so glad you're here. I hope you followed along on my travels. I got to chat with a few of you. This is so wild to actually got to meet a few of you um i met somebody at a restaurant that i went to uh the petersham gardens um wildly enough i was seated next to a bff on the airplane and her friend so if you are the friend and you know who you are who follows me on youtube who dm'd her while she was sitting next to me and then the girl that checked me in at the airport it's so wild like it's so cool what a small world it is and how connected we all are and it just like makes my day it makes my life when I get the chance to meet you all in real life because it feels like a real community here, but when we meet in person, it's just the next level of that. So anyway, um, I'd like to go back and maybe do a meetup. If you're over there, based over there, let me know because obviously my best friend Callie lives over there, but I'm gonna get into the video. I, I'm honestly making this up as I go along. I don't have <laughs> any plans for this video. My thought was that I could put together like footage and photos and stuff from what I wore over there and just show you and then talk about some of the things I acquired over there. So I'm wearing this outfit right now. I am obsessed with it. When I was over there, uh, River Island offered to send me some pieces. I actually didn't travel with as many outfits as I probably needed for the whole time. So I got a few pieces from River Island. I wanted this coat that was like this black and white checkered coat. I'm going to show it to you guys here. I wanted it so bad and I was unable to get it. I might still keep trying. River Island does ship to the US. So there's River Island US. So if you are US based, you should be able to get these pieces. I will link them all. Um, but if you are based in the UK, run, don't walk. Cause this suit is so good. This I'm wearing like a UK 18 in the shorts. Um, and then I'm actually wearing the blazer I got super oversized, mostly because they were actually out of the size that I would have normally ordered, but I think it fits really, really well. So this is, it's a River Island Plus, and this is a UK 22, um, which I normally wouldn't have thought to order, but I wouldn't, I would say if you feel like sizing up in this, go for it, because so these are a little big, they have an elastic back, but I just think it's such like a cool oversized moment. I styled it with my white high boots from Matisse that I love so much, and I didn't get the chance to shoot this over there, even though it's probably my current favorite outfit. Again, this is from River Island. This turtleneck is also from River Island, and I just love it so much. Um, so I don't have any photos or videos to show you guys of this outfit, but I absolutely love it. And I will be wearing this so much, this oversized blazer. Honestly, you could wear it with like biker shorts, almost as like a little blazer dress. It would be so great with the crop top and jeans. Uh, I think I was kept looking for tights because I thought tights would be such a cute look for this. Got this orange top from River Island. I am obsessed. I love the way it fits. It's just like a cropped blouse. I'll throw it on for you here, but I'm also gonna show you some footage of me wearing it out and about and some photos I took in it. So here it is on. Obviously, I wouldn't wear this with these shorts, although I'm actually not hating the purple and orange. I think it's really cute. Um, but I wore this with uh, my these uh, warp and weft bell-bottom jeans. Oh, I'll just put the outfit on for you. Why am I feeling so lazy? All right. Um, so I wore this. I took some cute photos, videos in this. I wore this uh, on a day we spent. We left the Hoxton Hallborn in the morning. So we had coffee and stuff there. And then I went to brunch in Notting Hill at... Sundays in Brooklyn, which was awesome. And I love this top so much. This is River Island. It's a floral orange blouse. Here's the back. This is definitely still in stores and stock last time I checked. And I'm wearing a UK 18, which is the equivalent of a US 14. It's nice and roomy. I find in UK sizing, it runs a little more generously um, because it's just a little different but I love this top. This is probably one of the favorite things. This and the purple suit are probably my two favorite things that I got on the trip. That's actually not true <laughs> because I actually got the chance to model. It's the first time I've been on set since um, right before the pandemic. So right before the pandemic, I was actually in the UK and I came home 
early to model for um, a couple different brands and then the border shut and I hadn't been on set since. So it was really fun and cool to be on set. I got the chance to shoot with Never Fully Dressed, which is a brand I love and adore. And I was actually gonna show you the things that they let me take home, but I think it might be better to just do a video like a day on set with Never Fully Dressed, and then I'll try on all the clothes that they had me in the shoot, and I'll show you how the photos turned out. So it's kind of funny, because it's like one of those things where it's like me versus the model, but I am the model. So I thought that could be fun to show you guys some of the pieces that I got to see there. So that will be a whole nother video, I think. I'll still show them to you today, but I'll probably do a full video on that too. I know for me, it's really fun to discover new brands that aren't from the US that I hadn't heard of, but that are still accessible and shippable to the US. So that's why I thought this would be kind of a fun series because it's always fun to discover new brands because I feel like I've shopped the same old, same old all the time. And it's really fun to like discover new things. So I'm gonna show you the other pieces that I got from River Island. I just cannot get enough of this. Oh, these are the Warp and Weft jeans. I tried these on for you all and linked them before, but I will link them again below. They're also in my reward style, I like to know it, um, and Magic Links. I love these so much. They are so cute, they're so good on the booty. Uh, this is, I believe, the Mia Flare. I'm wearing a size 32, 14. And then I got this from River Island. When I ordered this, I actually thought that it was a sweater vest, but it came attached to the white. And I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know how I'd style it. I haven't worn it yet, but let's put it on. All right, here it is on. I'm unsure. I feel like I would style this with like actually, I don't know, maybe like biker shorts under it and kind of like try to pull it off as like a little dress moment. What do we think? I don't love it with jeans and it's definitely not my normal style, but I really do appreciate it and I think it's cute. So let me know what you guys think. Maybe a skirt under it? What do we do? What do we do with this? I love the sleeves. I feel like the sleeves are doing some fun things. Um, again, this is River Island and this is a size large and it's a one, like a one piece, which is actually super handy. It might be a little less versatile that you can't remove this, but it's also like one and done. And what's wrong with that? I got this jumper, which is a sweater, but they call it jumper over there because everything they do is cuter and better. Um, and so this is just like a purple. This is also a size large. River Island, love the dramatic sleeves. I didn't wear this yet either, but I'm excited to style it. I thought that that uh, lavender turtleneck could actually be super cute under here, the one that I had on under the suit. I like the back of the neck, like it does this fun little thing and you can zip it up and it couldn't like here. Let me just show you. And it creates like more of a little moment here, which is really fun. It's so soft, like I can't stress how soft and stretchy this is. I really like it. Got this PJ set from River Island, and I think it is so cute. I love this pattern. It's like leopards and cheetahs. What's the difference? Does anybody know? All right, comment below if you know the difference and why, but I love this. I love these PJs. I think they're so cute. They're like silky. They also have like a matching like shorter sleeve top. And yeah, these are River Island. I'm wearing a size large in both pieces. This would totally be a cute camisole with like jeans and a blazer or something like that. Um, just a cute, pajama set it feels elegant she feels expensive you know what i mean that is it for the river island um on my vlog of leaving i don't know if you guys caught that one but it was when i was heading out my travel vlog i tried i think i tried on this dress i definitely tried on the bikini this is from l space and i have the matching bikini i don't have it on right now but i took this awesome photo in it and i think i tried it on in that video so if you want to see me try that on head to that video here's the dress and i just really love it it has these flouncy sleeves it does need to be steamed i loved wearing it with the matching bikini because then it didn't matter if it showed here um i love that you can have a little like leg moment this would be such a cute fall wedding guest dress honestly and it's just really beautiful i really really love this dress i think it's stunning um i also wore an l space two-piece yoga outfit while I was traveling and I will grab that to show you as well. Here is it on. It was so soft and cozy and comfy for the plane. Um, I have my bra on under this now just because, but it really has so much hold. I had never tried their active wear before and I got so many compliments on this. I wore it to set. The makeup artist was like loving it. It has this pocket here. So I wore this in Greece. I wore it on the plane to and from London. 
and I just love the way it fits and I love the color. So this is one of their new activewear pieces. Love, love, love. If you're looking for a new activewear brand to try, I'm wearing an extra large top and bottom. It's not super inclusive. I'm wearing the biggest size they make, but if you are midsize, it's quite stretchy. Um, I'm really happy with it and I like it a lot and I will link it below. I am not gonna put this back on for you because I've already tried this on in my Amazon favorites video, but I thought it was worth mentioning because again, it's like 30 something dollars from Amazon. It's so cute. And I wore this around Notting Hill. I'm gonna show you guys some videos and photos of that here. Just such a great dress, comes in so many colors. I have it in white, but this is like a green little gingham. It's in my Amazon storefront linked, so I'm going to link that below. And I actually have a storefront on Amazon where I share all my favorites, and there are so many good valued clothes to have there as well. So I thought this was worth another mention. To show you guys a couple of the things that I got to wear on set with Never Fully Dressed, just show you a little sneak peek of these. But again, I'll probably do its own video on these um, because I'm hoping to get some of their knitwear, and they're coming out with something new, and I don't know when they're now it so I'm not gonna say anything about it but I'll probably do one video on all of my favorite things from them along with my time on set so stay tuned for that but I thought this would be perfect I have a little tropical surprise vacay coming up so I thought this would be perfect for that I'll show you guys what that looked like on and some of the footage they took of me in that also got this really cute little um, is it called please say oh my gosh no I can't think of the word help you know what it is you know what it is if you see this crinkle pattern please comment below and help me I'm just like a little bit brain fried I'm a bit jet lagged I literally got in like yesterday late afternoon um so I've been here for not even 24 hours yet but I didn't want to let you guys down and that is why I am just making this video it's a little bit uh chaotic and ramshackle and thrown together but i wanted to make sure that you guys had a video up on monday because i have missed a couple videos since i was gone and it was not my intention so i just wanted to make sure that you guys had something and just know i've got a ton of really great things in the work like even with my eyes right now i see we've got like a super affordable fall edit from walmart coming up um some aloe yoga some more beauty and then comments in the past few videos have given me some great ideas so there's gonna be more like lifestyle confidence videos and stuff like that coming soon too but I wanted to show you this outfit so good when they put this on me on set it just looks like poochie like it looks like rich Italian woman vibes as did all of the things that I got to wear on set uh, so they let me keep this beautiful blouse it's kind of like see-through and I wore it with a matching skirt they have these new like um, almost knee-high boots that are like kind of like 60s 70s inspired go-go boots definitely gonna be buying them but I loved this look and then lastly this orange dress this is the purple and orange that's what I was saying earlier because I had the purple shorts on when I tried on the orange blouse like it's such a vibe because they are what is it complementary colors when they're opposite on the color wheel but I loved like the bat wing vibes of this dress you can check that out here and again I will be sharing more from this brand and my time behind the scenes shooting with them if you want to see all the outfits that I wore on my trip they are pretty much cataloged in the vlogs because I'm wearing them in the vlogs so uh, some of it was stuff that I had tried on in hauls here or shared on my TikTok, so I didn't want to be too repetitive but head over to my travel vlogs I think there's a two of London one one or two of Greece and then there's still another London part two coming up where I got like a Sunday Riley facial was on set um, got to have tea etc so there's a lot of fun things coming on the vlogs and they also have outfits with that I will try to link in those and I have some more travel coming up. So I'm going to Mexico at the end of the month and I'm really excited. So I'll be planning all my little tropical vacay outfits and obviously I'm gonna need you guys to help me. I also for some reason feel like I need to note that I wore like a Sherpa jacket over this. I wasn't just like balling out at the airport and on the plane like this. There's nothing wrong with doing that. But I had like, this is from Abercrombie and I'm not sure if this is out yet. I've been looking for it. So if I can find this, I will uh, link it. I linked something similar. It just didn't have the zip. But I don't know if you guys happen to see, but I, I was in an Abercrombie TikTok that went like viral. Comment below and let me know if you guys saw that because I got so many messages from like friends, family, people saying that they saw it and it blew my mind. They must have like shown it to so many people. There were a lot of like mean, hateful, fat phobic comments on there. Um, but that's just to be expected, but it was still really exciting. But Abercrombie did send me some items that I put in a previous vlog. So if you missed, not a vlog, a haul, if you guys missed my Abercrombie haul, I'm gonna link that below. Um, I'll make sure that I show that video but I absolutely love this jacket and I hope that it is available to purchase. And if it is, I will link it below, but also just it was super random that when I was over there, they ended up showing that video as an ad and it reached everyone. So I don't know if you guys saw it, but if you did, that'd be super exciting. Let me know if you did, but that was a haul that you guys really wanted. So let me know if there's other hauls that you really want and I will do my best to make them happen. There's a ton of fall content and stuff coming up, but 
I know this video is a little scattered and a little chaotic. Thanks for being patient with me, but mostly I just want to make sure that I got something up. And since I was getting so many DMs about some of the looks I wore when I was away, I thought that this would be um, just like an easy video is actually unpacking and I was like, huh, why don't I just share some of these things that I'm unpacking and it also encouraged me to unpack. Who else waits days and days before they unpack? I am going to close this video out because I'm a little jet lagged and I'm going to rest, do laundry, unpack, hang out with my boyfriend who's sitting here really cute playing guitar and isn't listening to me at all, but <laughs> we're just keeping each other company um, and he just brought me a coffee. So I'm going to enjoy that and some donuts that he brought me and I will check in with you guys again soon. I have another video going up Wednesday. We do have videos every Sunday, Monday and Wednesday and the Sundays are always the vlogs. So I've got, I'm a little bit behind on those, but you're gonna see Greece, you're gonna see more time in London, and I'll be back with tons of fresh hauls and lifestyle content. So if there's anything you wanna see, comment below, and I will try to accommodate all those video requests. I've seen some come in from my favorites video asking for the soft skin routine um, and asking for a few other things. So I'm gonna scroll through those comments and use that as like my idea board for videos too, because I wanna make sure that I'm serving you guys and you're excited about the things that I'm creating because we're really creating this together. And I just love that and I'm so grateful for this community. If you're new to my channel, this actually, I would say is more chaotic than most of my most of my videos so if you stuck in kudos to you and if you happen to like it subscribe hit that bell so you don't miss a video and make sure to say hi to me on instagram and i do short form fashion video content over on tiktok and i'm so glad you're here and i'm so glad you found my channel and if you are a returning bff thank you so much just for being here you guys light up my life and it's just been such an incredible journey growing this channel together and i'm grateful and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye